President-elect Donald Trump's plan to use the military for mass deportations is getting pushback from both Republicans and Democrats. The fact check team's Janae Bowens joining us now with the details on this controversy. So Janae, let's start with if and how the military can be used. Yeah, so Didi, once the president declares a national emergency, it frees up additional military funding and resources, which are specified in the National Emergencies Act. Now, Trump advisors told Reuters they intend to use the military to build detention camps or to transport undocumented migrants out of the U.S., freeing Border Patrol and immigration agents for investigations and apprehensions. Now, experts say this would be a fundamental policy shift for the military. This is getting bipartisan criticism. Yeah. So uh, break down the arguments. What are people saying? Yeah, so Republican Senator Rand Paul argues this is illegal. A law on the books bars the military from regular civil law enforcement unless Congress authorizes it by law. And many Democrats, including Boston's Mayor Michelle Wu, says she will not cooperate with immigration officials if deportations are carried out. All right, Janae, thank you. Much more to this. Janae will be back to discuss what Trump officials say will happen if states don't comply with the mass deportation plans. Search and